Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm creating this eye makeup look using the Anastasia Beverly Hills self-made palette. So if you guys would like to learn how to create this eye makeup look, then carry on watching. First we're going to start off with an eye base. I'm using my concealer and I'm just going to blend that across my eyelid using my beauty blender. And as usual, I'm just going to set that. You can use a face powder or any matte cream eyeshadow color. Now for some reason my camera didn't record this bit but I did use treasure from the palette to highlight the inner corner of my eyes as well as underneath the brow bone. And before I started applying the rest of my eyeshadows I just added a bit of tape just to help keep the eye makeup sharp and clean. So for my transition shade I went in with Morocco which is actually from another palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's the Shadow Couture one, it's my favourite palette. Um, I'm using that warm brown shade as my transition shade, so I'm just going to buff that into my crease. Now I'm going in with hot chocolate, which I'm going to place on the outer corner of my eyelid, and I'm also going to drag that into my crease. Also, if you guys are wondering, the brush I'm using is by Inglot. It's the 5FS brush. Um, it's a must-have. I love it. I'm totally obsessed with this brush, especially when it comes to like cut crease looks. So after I applied hot chocolate, I just went in with my blending brush and just blend out the edges. The next shade I'll be using is a metallic plum and I'm just going to apply this to the outer half of my eyelid. Now to add a bit of glam to the eye makeup look, I went ahead and applied pink champagne um, all over my eyelid. It's a really, really stunning, pretty eyeshadow. It's one of my favorites from the palette. Um, and I also wet my brush with a MAC Fix Plus spray, just so when I applied pink champagne, it really made it pop and stand out even more. Now I'm just going to go back in with metallic plum and I'm just going to blend that into the outer corner of my eyes just so all the eyeshadows blend together. Now I just went in with a bit of black and added that to the outer corner of my eyes. I just added a little bit um, to the outer corner and blended it slightly into the crease. So it was time to strip away the tape um, and as you can see that was a huge fail. Well, that didn't work out. Damn tape. So because the tape obviously didn't work for some reason, I went in with a makeup wipe, a wet makeup wipe, and just cleaned up the edges. For eyeliner, I'll be using my trusty favorite, which is the Inglot MC Liner in 77. It is a matte, pure pigment black, the best eyeliner ever, 100% waterproof, smudge proof. It's honestly the best liner out there that I've tried anyways. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my angled brush and start creating some wings. Now it's time to apply lashes. I just ordered these off eBay. They were super cheap um, and they're really nice lashes. So I stacked two of those together just to add more um, volume and make it a little bit more dramatic. And afterwards I just applied some mascara. So I just done the other eye and I just wanted to show you quickly me touching up my eyeliner because it's a really good tip. After you apply lashes, always go back in and fix up your liner because no doubt your liner will be crooked or just not perfectly straight. So definitely go back in and touch up. So now I'm just going to go ahead and do my base off camera and then I'll be right back. Now to finish off the eye look, we're going to go in with Morocco, which is the shade we use as our transition shade, and I'm just going to blend that along the lash line. 
then I'm going to use metallic plum and I'm also going to blend that along my lash line um, just to make it a little bit more dramatic. Going back in with pink champagne, I'm just going to highlight the inner corner of my eyes. So we're nearly done with the eyes, I'm just going to go ahead and apply some mascara to my bottom lashes. I'm using my same old that I use all the time and that's the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black. So the last step to this eye makeup look is to apply some liner into my waterline. I decided to use a really really dark brown um, instead of a black. I don't know why, I think I just wanted to try something a little bit different. So now I'm just tidying up under my eyes um, but that is pretty much the eye makeup done. So if you wanted to make this look extra bold or more glamorous, then you can wear a orange lipstick with it. I think they go really well together. Um, this one is by Wet n Wild. It's their matte lipstick. I think it's called Purdy Pumison or something like that. I'll leave it um, down in the description bar. And my second lip option is just a nude which I personally prefer with this eye makeup look and I think a lot of you guys would prefer it as well. Um, this one is Celebrity Skin by Jeffree Star. It's one of my favorite nudes. Um, I just love it so much. So yeah, let me know what lipstick that you prefer with the eye makeup look. Leave your comments down below. So that is my completed eye makeup look using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Self Made Palette as well as two lipstick options just in case you want to go extra glam or tone it down and keep it neutral. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please thumbs up the video. Leave your feedback and comments down below. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. And yeah, I'll catch you guys on my next video. Bye.